had a choice to be how to be spending your time right now, and you chose to spend your time with me. And I take that with all humility, with all sincerity, because I recognize that implicit in your choice to spend this time with me is trust. Trust in me to provide meaningful information, trust to provide you distinctions and strategy that you can use in your real estate business. So I take that trust very seriously. So out of consideration of your trust, my commitment to you is to, I'm going to share everything there is about what we do in small apartments, about this business, what we do in my office every single day, what students do across the country. I'm going to lay it out all for you. And I also promise to answer your questions. So I will be answering your questions live at the end of today's presentation. So if you have a question at any point, feel free to send it in, or you may um, save it to the end when I take questions, because many times questions get answered in the course of the presentation. Either way, I'll be answering your questions at the end. And so with that, let me formally welcome you to today's webinar on how to profit by flipping and buying small apartments using none of your own cash or credit, and this is Lance Edwards. And I want to tell you about what I consider the perfect real estate niche. Because you see, I discovered a niche where you receive $10,000 to $50,000 checks. You can easily retire within three years. That's what I did. You can create wealth quicker than anything else that I know of that's, a, that's legal and is pursued by just a limited few who just discovered what I'm revealing to you here today. It's available to you right now. You do not need a college education. You don't need a real estate license. You don't need any prior experience. You don't need to use your own cash or credit. You're not going to deal with tenants and toilets. You don't need lots of time. You do this on a part-time basis. What you just need is the knowledge combined, of course, with, with action. And that niche is apartments. Now, one thing I want to say Remember I said 80% of success is showing up. You receive bonuses for showing up today. Uh, as, and as a reminder, what I'll be doing at the end of the presentation, you're going to be receiving these free tools, which are straight from my paid boot camp. I'm going to be giving you the list of websites of where to find these small apartment deals. I'll be explaining and teaching you how to do that today. I'm also going to give you the apartment evaluator software. This is the software to evaluate these apartment deals nationwide. I'm going to be telling you how that process works, and I'm going to be showing you that it's very, very simple, very simple math. I'm also going to give you the manual that goes along with it, explains the process of analyzing apartment deals. And I'm also going to give you the scripts for speaking directly with brokers and speaking directly with sellers. That'll get your deal flow started for you. I'll be explaining that process, but I'm going to be giving you the scripts at the end of today's presentation. And also, I'm going to be giving you the questions that you're going to be using to be interviewing management companies nationwide, because you are not going to be dealing with tenants and toilets. That's your reward for showing up today. Let's talk about apartments. Apartments are hot right now, and it's really being driven. It's, it's all a result of the, of the Great Recession, or of the recession, is that there were a number of trends that came out of the recession that was leading to a very hot market right now. First of all, I think everyone's probably aware of this. Rental demand is at record highs. It's, it's constantly in the news. The actual statistics, vacancies dropped uh, on apartments from 10.9% to 8.3%. 85% of property managers who are interviewed have raised rent in the past 12 months, and 62% expect to continue raising rent another 6% over the next 12 months. Source of that is rent.com. So we get very high rental demand. That's great for us being in the rental housing business. But there's a second trend that came out of the Great Recession that's contributing to this hot activity. There's lots of private money looking for investment outside of the stock market. In fact, here's a statistic. There's $5 trillion in IRAs alone, $5 trillion in IRAs that is not sitting in the stock market. It's sitting on the sidelines, and 97% of that $5 trillion is earning less than 1% because it's parked in cash, money markets, and CDs. This is money that was pulled. 
money, uh, excuse me, how to get your deals in front of this money looking for real estate deals. The third trend that came out of the Great Recession is that interest rates are at lifetime lows. The cost of money is the lowest we've seen in our lifetime, whether it's conventional money or private money. So when you stack it all up, we got record rental demand, we got low, record low cost of money. That means apartment cash flow is at record highs. And that's why you're seeing so much activity in this sector right now. Now that explains what's going on now. What does the future look like when it comes to apartments? Well, if you want to look at the future for economics, you look at what the baby boomers are doing. Because baby boomer trends have driven every economic shift since 1946. So let's, let's watch the baby boomers. What's going on in the headlines now? You'll see these headlines. Forbes magazine. The baby boomer housing bust. Wall Street Journal. Aging boomers to boost demand for apartments. And the Federal Reserve Bank put out this report. Boomers responsible for 60% of renter increase by 2023. What's going on is the baby boomers are aging. They've spent their whole lives accumulating stuff in the big homes. And now they want to simplify. They want to downsize. They want to minimize their lives. And they're moving out of the big homes and moving into rental communities. And that's going to continue to drive rental demand on top of all the millennial demand that's driving it right now. So when you stack it all up, nothing down cash flow is your opportunity that's available through small apartments. So in today's training, what are you going to be learning? Well, I'll tell you right now, I have four desired outcomes for you today. Number one, by the time we finish, you're going to understand how to start in small apartments with no previous experience and without having to use any of your own money or any of your own credit. That's my desired outcome number one for you. Number two, the second thing I want you to walk away with, is you're going to know how to build an immediate income right now through small apartments and how to achieve retirement in just a few short years. I'm going to show you how that's done. My third desired outcome for today's training is I'm going to teach you and show you how to find the absolute best deals nationwide with almost no work. And the fourth desired outcome, I'm going to show you how to fund these deals with no bank qualifying. Now, that's what i got planned for you today. At the end of the presentation, I also will invite you, if you're interested, to work with me and join my network of small apartment sellers, buyers, wholesalers, and investors, plus I'm going to show you at the end how I will even pay you when you close your first deal. That will be at the end of today's training. So who is Lance Edwards? Some of you have heard me speak before. Some of you, this is the first time. Well, with your indulgence, if I can really quickly share my background and what led to us being together on today's webinar training. Uh, first of all, you may have known me. I'm the best-selling author on small apartments with my book, How to Make Big Money in Small Apartments. I enjoy one of the fastest-growing companies in Houston, Texas. It's recognized by Houston Business Journal. We're very proud of that. We're also very proud of the fact that uh, accredited business by Better Business, uh, Better Business Bureau. But it all began for me back in 2002. When I took my very first real estate training, I had a full-time job back in 2002. 2002, working 60 hours a week, and I was looking for a backup plan for my family. And I discovered real estate. And the very first training I ever took was a took an eight-week teleseminar on how to buy houses, nothing down. It was a very good training. I learned a lot. But the most important thing, the single thing that changed my life that I learned in that first real estate training was what my first mentor said to me. He said this. He said, you know, Lance, I made a lot of money doing houses. But I came to realize that to meet my financial goals, I needed to shift to multifamily. Multifamily provided bigger numbers in a shorter time period. And that made all the sense in the world to me. So when I came out my very first training on how to do houses, I came out looking to do small apartments. Because that's the way he had guided me. My very first real estate deal I ever did, I bought a small fourplex, nothing down. Now that was my first deal. Now, if if I were to ask you, which deal do you think is your most critical deal in your real estate journey? Right now, I bet you're answering the first one. And I would agree with you, because that was certainly true for me. Now, if I were to ask you, which deal is going to be the scariest deal in your real estate journey? I would bet you're 
answering right now, the first one. And I would agree with that, too, because that was the case for me. I was terrified of getting that first deal done. But once I got that critical first deal, that first critical small apartment deal under my belt, it became like a launching pad for my real estate business. Because over the next two and a half years, I did 50 nothing down deals, all on a part-time basis using other people's money. I bought more fourplexes than I went to 10 units, 50, 56, 85 unit projects, always using OPM, other people's money, because that's what I had been taught to do. And again, I'm doing this on a part-time basis. Within three years of my start in small apartments, this is now up to July of 2005, I was able to walk in my boss's office on a Friday morning, drop a piece of paper on his desk and say, I quit, I'm done. In July 2005, I retired from corporate America and went out on my own just doing apartment deals, buying them and flipping them. Two years later into that, I was approached by some colleagues at my real estate club uh, here in Houston where I live. They said, Lance, we see you doing these apartment deals. Can you teach us how you're doing these apartment deals using other people's money? I said, sure. I had my very first seminar in 2007, and that launched the trading side of my business. And we've been teaching thousands nationwide. Since 2007, many of you come to know me today to be on this be on this webinar because of the trading side of my business. Many of you come to be on this webinar because of the real estate side of my business, where we continue to remain very active. In fact, we do deals with our students, and the largest deal we've done to date with a student is an 11 million dollar apartment complex, 294 units, which we wholesaled, working in conjunction with two of my students out of the Carolinas. They found a deal, I put it on a contract, and we wholesale it to a buyer. So that's what brings us here today. I have two passions. One passion is, first of all, deal making, doing deals. And the second passion is empowering others how to get started in this business. And I will tell you right now, here's my mantra. Let me go ahead and get it out. Is that you do not need to graduate from single family and multifamily. You can start with multifamily specifically small apartments, just like I did. And if you're doing houses right now, do both. Add small apartments to your revenue stream. Now, I keep emphasizing small apartments. So why small apartments? Well, there's lots of advantages I want to share with you right now. First of all, small apartments are the fastest entry point into the multifamily business or the commercial business because they close fast leading to that quick cash and confidence. Remember, the most critical deal in our real estate journey is going to be the first deal. And so getting that critical first small apartment deal done is what gives that instant jolt of confidence and things take over from there, just naturally, because you've got the confidence. With small apartments, you're going to earn five-figure checks at $10,000 and above when you're wholesaling these contracts. And when you're buying them, there's little of any cash that you need to raise when buying these small apartment properties. The private investors are easily accessible. I'm going to teach you where they are today. No bank qualifying is very common because owner financing, seller financing is very common with small apartments, which I'll be teaching you today. And when you own a small apartment building, you have multiple tenants paying you, not just one. So you're not just dependent upon one person's ability to pay you rent so you can continue to have cash flow. And with small apartments, you can create wealth through something called forced appreciation which I'll be teaching you today, and you are able to hire management companies. These are companies who are going to take all the day-to-day -day operations off your shoulders and you never deal with tenants and toilets. And with small apartments, I want to show you how you're going to make offers sight unseen from your kitchen table or from anywhere using very simple math, which I'm going to teach you. You can easily do this business part-time from anywhere. There's no prior experience needed in real estate. It's simple to learn. I want to show it to you today. And again, if you're doing houses right now, you can easily and you should combine small apartments with your house business. You can easily scale up to larger apartments. Now, I'm going to talk about starting small, but you don't have to stay small. I want you to start small and then scale up to mid-size and large because it's all the same. And when you enter small apartments, there is little competition. Now, those are the advantages of small apartments. I, I should define small apartments. Our definition of small apartments are properties that are 2 to 30 units. That's duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes, which is a residential world of real estate, but it also includes the commercial side of 5 to 30 units. So 2 to 30 units is a span you're going to be working with a small apartment. Now, there's three ways to profit. You don't 
little competition in the space of small apartments. Well, it's a very logical question, and I'm going to tell you right now, the reason for this, this is what I discovered on my own and from, tra- from teaching you know, thousands and tens of thousands over the years, is that there are three limiting beliefs or myths that keep others out of this sector, out of this niche. And I've got to make sure that these beliefs aren't lingering somewhere in the back of your mind because if these lingering, these beliefs, these myths are lingering in the back of your mind, you are probably unnecessarily disqualifying yourself from getting started in the small apartments right now. So I've got to do some myth busting. I've got to demonstrate to you that you're qualified to get started today. So let's do some myth busting. Let's start with limiting belief number one. Is this one. Some people think this. Hey, don't I need to graduate into apartments? Don't I need to go do some single family deals? And after I've done a sufficient number of single family deals, aren't they going to give me a cap and gown and walk me across the stage and have the whole ceremony and certify me? No. First fact of the matter is there is no graduation process. You don't need to graduate from single family into multifamily. You can start with small apartments just like I did. You just need to decide this is what you want to do. For exhibit A, to bust up this myth, here's my very first deal. It's a small apartment. There's that fourplex. I bought this property with 100% seller financing from Ms. Manson. She lived in Honolulu. Property's in Houston. I never met her. I did this deal over the phone. I got 100% seller financing. There was no bank qualifying for her. She never asked me for any type of credit check. And I had nothing down cash flow at closing. That was my very first deal. That's what got me started. In today's training, I'm going to show you even larger uh, first deals that were even larger than mine that were done by students just to demonstrate that there is no graduation. You can get started this ter- right now. That leads to the second limiting belief that holds people back from getting involved with the small apartments, and it's this one. Some people think, well, hey, don't I need big cash or credit to do apartments? This is a very logical question. You know, we look at these buildings, they're, they're bigger, they're going to be bigger ticket. And you, you might be thinking, I don't have the personal financial resources to buy one of these buildings. Well, the fact of the matter is, you don't need to use your own cash, and you don't need to use your own credit in doing these apartment deals. And I'm going to be teaching you all about that in the entire training. This is all about OPM. And in order to bust up this second myth, I need to do a little bit of... Um, We'll speak a little bit of real estate blasphemy, and I need to define what our true role is in this business. Now, when I came into the business, um, I came in, I joined a real estate club, and they proceeded to tell me that from there on, I was a real estate investor, right? I'm a real estate investor. So I'm going out in the world declaring myself a real estate investor. Now, if I ask you, when you hear the term investor, what does an investor have a lot of? What does an investor have? Well, that's right. Cash, capital, money. That's the definition of an investor. But wait a minute. I came into the, the industry. They told me I'm a real estate investor. I'm not declaring myself a real estate investor. But in the back of my mind, I got this little voice that's saying, hey, wait a minute. Lance, you don't have the financial resources. You don't have the means to buy these real estate deals. You don't have the means to buy these apartment buildings. You're not really a real estate investor. And that disconnect between who we say we are and who we believe we are, if we're not, if there's a disconnect, we will not take any action in that regard. And that's what's holding so many people back right now. So investor, I would respectfully submit, is the wrong label. On the other hand, when I say the label entrepreneur, what does an entrepreneur look for? What do entrepreneurs look for? That's right, deals, opportunities. We're deal makers. Matter of fact, look at the definition. An entrepreneur is someone who pursues his or her vision using the time, talent, and resources. That is the cash and credit of others. And the key word here is of others. So if you are on this call because you're looking at how to do real estate deals using other people's money, I will submit to you, you are not a real estate investor, but rather you are a real estate entrepreneur. And as a real estate entrepreneur, our business, your business is simply this, deals and dollars. Because we're always marketing for two things, deals and dollars. On one hand, I market to find the deals. That's to get my deal flow. I want to find the motivated sellers. On the other hand, I'm marketing to find the dollars. Dollars means if I want to sell 
successful with me in this deal and put me into this property. But at the end of the day, our business is incredibly simple. We find deals, we find dollars, and we matchmake. We are simply matchmakers. And the sooner you ever wrap your brain around this notion that we are just matchmakers, the sooner you come to rationalize that this business has nothing to do with your own personal dollars. It has everything with your ability to market to find deals, market to find dollars, and matchmake. And that's what liberates you to start getting started in small apartments and rapidly scale up into mid-size and large. Now, as an entrepreneur, when I was just getting started off trying to discover which niche I wanted to even begin with, I discovered that there's fundamentally two types of business models in any type of business. If I'm going to start a business, I can either choose to start a high-volume business or I can choose to start a high ticket business. What do I mean by that? Well, a high ticket, excuse me, a high volume business, this is a business where there's a high volume of activity, high volume of transactions, small to modest profit per transaction. Think McDonald's, a jillion burgers sold, right? High volume, high volume. On the other hand, a high ticket business. A high ticket business is a business where I'm dealing in high ticket, high priced items. There's high profit per transaction. I do fewer transactions per year and I have lesser activity. All right, that's high ticket. Okay, now, when I discovered real estate a long time ago, I first learned about this thing called wholesaling, which I explained to you a moment ago the idea of putting properties under contract and flipping the contract. And I said, that'd be a great way to get started. So I'm going to start wholesaling. So I put my, my business plan together, my very first business plan, and that business plan said, my goal is to make $100,000 over the next 12 months. That's the goal. All right, how can I do that? By wholesaling. All right, if I wholesale houses, they taught me, my real estate club taught me that if I wholesale houses, I could expect to make three to $5,000 per contract, flipping contracts. So I said, all right, if I make $5,000 per contract, and I want to make $100,000 per year wholesaling contracts. How many deals do I need to do per year? 20. All right. So there was my business plan. Wait a minute. I looked at this. Wait, I got to do 20 deals a year? That's almost two deals per month. I'm starting off part time. I don't have this kind of time. I don't, that, that's not going to get me there. I've got to go find at least two deals per month. I got to find two buyers per month. I don't have that kind of time in getting started. So I asked myself a second question. Well, instead of making $5,000 per deal, what if I make $50,000 per deal? Now, how many deals do I need to do per year to make $100,000? Two. And that is one of the many reasons that led me into apartments is because I get greater leverage on my time by dealing in a high ticket business. And that's one of the many advantages. Because you're going to be starting a wholesaling and deals making no less than $10,000. So the question comes up, if you're doing houses right now, why not do both? Don't stop doing houses. Just add small apartments. Or if you're getting started, just start here. Let me give you a case study of Peter Arianis. This is Peter is a window uh, installer. He's a contractor. So a little, uh, contract firm. He installs windows. This is his very first real estate deal. He found a 66-unit property he placed under contract in Ohio. Peter lives in New York. He's doing a completely another state. He put the property under contract. No credit check being done on Peter because he's not going to be the one buying it. His intent is to assign his contract to an end buyer. He flipped his contract. Peter made $66,000 in upfront cash plus passive income on a property he never even owned. And the only cash he had to deal was $100. And the only reason he had $100 in it is because he had a FedEx paperwork between New York and Ohio. And in one of those FedEx packets coming from Ohio back to him from the title company was this check made out to Peter for $36,000. Now, remember I said he made $66,000. He got $36,000 cash up front, and he negotiated with his buyer to receive another $30,000 installment payments being paid out of the cash flow of the property after Peter flipped it to him. $66,000. Now, Peter didn't graduate from anything. He certainly didn't graduate from single family. He didn't graduate from college. This was his very first deal. He just decided to get started in apartments. We're speaking about wholesale and steel. Let me give you another case study. This is Henry Serrano. Henry lives on the West Coast in Fresno, California. He used a strategy I taught him called Peas in a Pod. His very first apartment deal was a triplex. Now, there's only three units in a triplex. This is the smallest 
he did both these deals in the span of 60 days. He made $26,500 just flipping triplexes. They're all, like I say, in 60 days, he never owned the property because he was flipping. He used none of his own cash in these deals. And that's the power of wholesaling small apartments. So wholesaling small apartments part-time is how you pay the bills today. You get those chunks of cash. So the next thing, the question comes up, how do you become financially free in just a few short years buying apartments using none of your own cash or credit? And this is where we talk about true financial freedom. True financial freedom where you don't need to work for anyone else. You don't need to work for yourself. Now, to understand this, i got to lay a quick foundation, this quick definition. Because when I talk about financial freedom and the strategies, there's three components towards your financial freedom. Three components. Component number one is active income. Active income. Component number two is passive income. Component number three is your net worth. Now, let me define each of these. Active income. This is the income that we generate by substituting our time for dollars, right? We're all very familiar with this. We were all taught about this extensively in the educational program. This is otherwise known as a job. We understand this one. Wholesaling, by the way, is another form of active income. Pays very well, but nevertheless, if you stop actively doing your wholesaling business, those checks are going to stop coming in. That's active income. The second component of your financial freedom plan, though, is you need to have passive income. That's the mailbox money, and that comes from buying and holding apartment buildings that are being managed by others. That becomes true passive income. That's mailbox money. The third component of financial freedom is your, in your net worth, growing your net worth. And your net worth is your assets less your liabilities it's also the equity in the apartment buildings that you own and that comes from rehabbing and improving these apartment buildings through process known as forced depreciation so those are all those are the three components of financial freedom here's one of the great things about apartments you can have all three simultaneously with small apartments this is one of the few investment vehicles where you can do all three simultaneously so let me give you a strategy right here. This is what I call the quick and slow income approach. This is my absolute favorite strategy. It's this. Flip one, flip one, flip one, hold one. Which means I want you to go out and flip small apartment contracts, make between $10,000 to $50,000 or more. Do it on a part-time basis. Get those chunks of cash coming in. You can actually replace your active job income with this form of active wholesaling income. And along the way, I want you to start small, but I want you to move to larger apartments so you start getting larger checks. Remember, I want you to start small, progress to midsize and large. But while you're doing these flipping, I want you to cherry pick the apartments that you want to keep for passive income and total financial freedom. So it's flip one, flip one, flip one, hold one. And along the way, you cherry pick properties that you want to hang on to, to start to build up your own portfolio of apartment doors until you have enough passive income coming in that you've attained total financial freedom. And then you have choices. You can choose to continue wholesaling or not, but you, but you reach critical mass of the number of apartment doors that you need to own in order to have true passive income and a truly, truly financially free at that point. How many, how many, how many doors, doors, how many units do you need?
is you want to acquire 80 doors. That's how close you are to financial freedom right now is 80 measly apartment doors. Does that mean you have to go out and buy one 80 unit apartment building? No. You could, but what I think is even better, I want you to start small and scale up to mid size and large apartments. I want you to start small to get that critical first deal done and get the confidence by which you can then start adding on and rapidly scaling up to 80 units and beyond. So let me give you a case study here on passive income. These are two of my students, Dennis Williams and Terry Warren. They live in the Carolinas. When I had met them, they had no prior real estate experience other than owning their own home, and they each had been laid off from their jobs of 25 years, and they wanted to start acquiring rental property for passive income. Well, if you have no W-2 to show the bank, how much money will the bank loan you? That's right. Exactly zero. So with no W-2, by definition, they were unbankable. Yet that didn't stop them. Using our system, they acquired property. They bought this 12-unit small apartment building in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and this property produces $3,500 per month passive income. Now, remember, I told you to expect $100 per unit. They received $300 per unit passive income using a strategy that I taught them. And they bought this property with 100% financing and, of course, no bank qualifying. So when I talk about buying small apartment buildings, it's little bread and butter properties just like this that are going to get you started. Start small and start adding to your portfolio, and you'll naturally increase over time. So that in a very short time, you become financially free. So the third thing. So how do you quickly change your net worth with small apartments? Well, this is where I want to teach you about forced appreciation. Because this is my favorite wealth creating strategy. And to understand this, I need to teach you that apartments are evaluated, or the value of an apartment is based upon, quote, the numbers. Now, there's two formulas I'm sharing with you right now. This, this, is, this determines everything of how we evaluate apartment deals. The value of an apartment equals the NOI divided by the market cap rate. And that NOI stands for net operating income. And the net operating income is simply the revenue minus the expenses. That, if you understand those two formulas, congratulations, you have passed the math portion of the business because that's it. Everything that we do in evaluating properties, everything we do that in making offers on apartments is derived from those two very simple formulas. Now, if you look at those formulas, what do they tell us? Talk about forced appreciation. You can see that if you raise the NOI, you raise the value by the math, so that you automatically force appreciation in a predictable manner. How do you raise the NOI? Raise the rent. That raises the revenue. Raise the occupancy. That raises the revenue. Raising rent and raising occupancy dramatically raises the NOI and even more dramatically raises the value of an apartment building so you are creating appreciation in a forced manner. You are forcing it through operational improvement. And it's this predictability that is yet another reason that attracted me and attracts so many that are trading true wealth for themselves is the predictability of forced appreciation. Perhaps the best way to show it, let me give you an example. Let's say we have a 20-unit apartment building. Uh, it's currently occupied at 78%. That's not very good. The current net operating income is $39,600 per year. The, and the market cap for this area for this market is 8%. And I'll be teaching how to determine that, but it's, it's a fixed number. It's a constant for that market. All right? That means the value of that apartment building is the NOI divided by the market cap rate, or $495,000. $39,600 divided by 8%. That is the market value. That's the retail value of that building. Commercial appraiser would give you the same number. This is called an income-based appraisal. All right, so let's say I now evaluate the, I've evaluated the property, and I decide that I'm going to buy it for $495,000. I'll pay retail price. And of course,
course, I would buy it using OPM. I'll see that in a moment. But here's my strategy. My strategy is I'm going to put new management in place. I'm going to add $40,000 of rehab for sprucing it up. I get that. Also raise that from OPM because I want to stabilize that property. Stabilize the property means I'm going to raise the occupancy from 78% to 90%. So the new NOI, I got more people living there, more people paying the rent. The new NOI is $54,000 a year. So the new value of the stabilized property, again, is the, the new NOI, $54,000 divided by 8% or $675,000. I can predict what the stabilized value of the building is going to be. So I can predict up front what's my profit going to be. It's the new value of six hundred seventy-five minus my four hundred ninety-five thousand dollars purchase price minus forty thousand dollars of rehab. The gross profit on this transaction, this deal, will be one hundred and forty thousand dollars. I can run this on the back of an envelope before I even make an offer on the property because this is the power of forced appreciation, the predictable nature of being able to predict the future value based on the NOI is basically the rent and the occupancy. Now remember, that was if you paid retail value. I'll show you how to buy it for less than market value and make even more profit on the deal. All right, so I've shown you how to generate, how to create $140,000 in equity. How do you cash out that equity? Well, you have options to cash out that $140,000 in equity. Number one, you can sell the property for cash. Take all that equity as cash and if you sell it for cash what I would encourage you to do is go out and buy it take your hundred forty thousand dollars and use it as down payment on a larger apartment building this is how you stair step your way up quickly the net worth increases here's even a better way don't sell your property refinance it based on that new value of six hundred seventy five thousand pull that equity out as a loan as cash to yourself and keep that cash. By the way, you keep it tax-free. It's a loan. Or the fourth option, hold on to your property, refinance it, take that equity out as cash, and use that cash as down payment on a second apartment building. Now you own two apartment buildings and do it all over again. Now you got cash flow coming off of two properties, and you stair-step your way up through force appreciation. And that's how you massively and quickly change your net worth situation. It's called capping out a property. Now, I'm talking about forced appreciation, talking about rehabs. Let me give you a, an example uh, of one of mine. This is from my own uh, library of deals. I found this 56-unit boarded-up apartment. You can, I got pictures right here. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Totally vacant. This thing was so nasty, the crackheads would break in at night to pull the copper wiring out of the walls so they could go sell the copper for scrap metal and get dope money. Real fixer upper. All right. So the seller was asking $850,000. It was a bank property. I put it on a contract to purchase for $225,000. But I did the forced appreciation math. Got a contractor to come tell us the rehab is going to cost $600,000. Got that estimate for free. Why would a contractor give me an estimate for free? Because he wants the project. He wants the job. He came out and says it's going to cost $600,000 to stabilize it.
math, the stabilized value is going to be $1.5 million using the back of the envelope math I just taught you. So the equity to be created in this single deal was $675,000. But it's a big project. I didn't want to get involved with the rehab of this side. So if I don't want to buy it, what else can I do with it? That's right, wholesale it. So I wholesale my contract to a rehabber. They got to go after the $675,000. They paid me $37,000 just for buying the deal and putting it together. So I say this because some of you may be saying, I don't want to do rehabs. That's fine. I still want you to understand the power of forced appreciation because this is how you go find the real fixer-uppers, the nastiest of the nasty deal that nobody wants to touch, but to know how to see the value in it and to know how to value it place it under a contract and assign it to rehabbers and show them the value as well. So you're getting five-figure checks, even wholesaling these type of properties, which are all over the country. All right, that leads to our third limiting belief, the myth that keeps people from getting started in the apartments, and it's this. Well, hey, don't I have to deal with tennis and toys? I understand this passive income, Lance, but that doesn't that mean I, I've got to go deal with tennis and toilets? Their economies of scale leverage their scale. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you own a sixplex, a little six-unit small apartment building. Now, with a sixplex, can you afford to have an on-site maintenance person living on staff? No, of course not. What you're going to do is you're going to hire a management company who manages several hundred doors for many owners, and they're going to have a maintenance staff on their employment, and they row from property to property. And on their maintenance team, they're going to have a certified AC tech. They're going to have a person that can do plumbing, a person that can do electrical, another person who can do the make readies. And so anytime your property needs work done on it, the management company is going to dispatch their tech, their maintenance person, and they're only going to bill you for the hours he or she works on your property at their cost. So you're getting the absolute best talent at the absolute lowest cost because you're able to tap into the economy to scale the management company. And if you're getting your expenses reduced, if you're keeping your expenses down, that drives up your net operating income, which drives up the value of your building. Another way you're going to leverage the scale of your management company is they have buying power. When, a management co when your management company manages, say, 400 apartment doors, they have buying power. They have preferred vendor contracts. They can get the best prices when it comes to buying the supplies and materials you need to operate your apartment. The paint, the carpet, whatever it needs, they can buy it at their prices and pass those savings directly on to you, which also keeps your expenses down and your cash flow and values up. And the third way you're going to tap into the scale and leverage the scale of your management company, when it comes time to raise private money on your apartment building, Sometimes first-time students will say, well, Lance, you know, I don't have any experience in owning an apartment building. Why would someone loan me money on an apartment building that I don't have the experience? Because here's why. If, if a private investor asks you what's your experience in managing apartments, you're going to take the resume of your management company, you're going to hold it up and say, here it is, here's my team. Here's my team. And that's what checks the box on the experience is being able to show a management company that manages several hundred doors all over the city. So your job is not property management. Your job is asset management. You are the asset manager. You manage the managers. Now remember, I'm going to be providing you the property management interview questions to select the best companies. I'm going to give you the exact same interview questions we use so you know how to choose the best management companies to run these properties for you. All right, we've covered all three myths. We've done some myth busting. You, number one, you don't need to graduate from single family into multifamily. You can start with small apartments. Number two, you don't need to use your own cash, your own credit. You are a real estate entrepreneur. You're going to find the deals, find the dollars, and match make. And the third myth we busted is you are not going to deal with tenants and toilets. You're going to hire and select management companies to run these buildings for you. So now you should recognize, with all these myths being busted, you're qualified to get started in small apartments right now. So what do you need to get started? Well, here's your toolbox. You need a calculator, 
You need a phone, you need internet access. Oh, you have that. That's on your cell phone right now. All right, so I know you got that. Oh, you also need to get started. You need sixth grade math skills. Remember, I taught you the two formulas you got to know. You already understand that, so you, you've got that. Because remember, apartments are based on the numbers. The way we evaluate is based on the numbers, which means this business is perfect for part-time. You can evaluate deals at night. You can evaluate deals during your lunch break. You do not need to go look at these properties. You can do this from your kitchen table, literally nationwide, because it's all based upon the math, which means you can make offers sight unseen. There is not an automobile in that tool toolkit on the left-hand side. This is not driving for dollars. You simply need to see the numbers so you can make your offers on properties. In fact, the offer making can all be automated, and I can show you how. Now, when it comes to running the numbers, you're going to ask for two financial statements for your analysis, the profit and loss statement and a rent roll. And a profit and loss statement is going to be, it shows the revenue and the expenses. And what you specifically want to ask for is something called a T12. It's a trailing 12-month P&L, a T12. Because this is going to show you month by month what was the revenue for the month, what were the expenses, what was the NOI. And the reason you want to be able to see it month by month over the past 12 months is because you can evaluate. Are things trending up? Are they trending down? Or are they staying neutral? And they will tell you exactly what the NOI is for the last 12 months. The second statement you're going to be asking for is a rent roll. And a rent roll is simply a ledger. Let's say it's a 10-unit apartment building. i got units 1 through 10. And it has the name of each person living in each unit. It shows how much rent they pay. But there's also a column that shows how much they owe. So if someone pays $500 a month rent, but the column under balance due says $1,000, that means they're two months behind on their rent. That is a unit that is not, that's a non-performing unit, and that would actually need to be considered what's called economic vacancy. This is things, nope, the, the agent's never going to tell you this, but you're going to be able to assess it by looking at the rent roll. Armed with those two documents, you can make an offer. You can evaluate a deal. And in fact, remember, I'm going to be giving you my apartment evaluator software and my apartment analysis manual that you take the, the information on these sheets and put it through the software and it'll tell you if you've got a deal or not. So that's how you're going to evaluate your deals. So how do you find deals? Well, I want you to start thinking nationally because there's your territory. It's a big one. It's the entire country. Now remember, I said you do not need to see these properties to make offers, which means you can be making offers in cities all over the country. And what you want to do is you want to you can certainly start in your own backyard. I always encourage starting in your own backyard. But you're not limited to your own backyard. You simply need to choose the markets where there's a lot of activity and what are the best markets. Once you choose your markets, you then start creating your deal flow. How do you create your deal flow? Where do you find the deals? Well, there's three sources, three primary sources. One's going to be websites. Two is going to be Broker pocket listings by speaking with brokers. And these are the to get the listings that are not on the website. That's what a pocket listing is. And the third way you're going to your deal flow is through direct mail. Direct mail that we send straight to sellers. Now, remember, I'm going to be giving you the script for talking to the brokers and the script for talking to the sellers. So what I want to talk to you about is websites. Because this is my favorite strategy for deal flow because it's free. Now, this means you can work from your PC or your, your smartphone, for that matter. You can do this anywhere. Is finding apartments for sale on websites. Now, here's two examples I want to share with you. One is LoopNet, LoopNet.com. And the other is MLS. Now, many of you may be familiar with LoopNet.com, or if you're not familiar with it, it's free. It lists commercial properties for sale across North America. If you're interested in a property in Nashville, Tennessee, you, you go to LoopNet, type in Nashville, Tennessee, click the box multifamily, it'll show you properties for sale. What, most people, what fewer people realize is that MLS, the old-fashioned multiple listing service, is also great for finding small apartment deals. We think of MLS as primarily houses, 
Certainly there's lots of house deals on there, but I want you to recognize you'll find up to 50 unit properties on MLS that might not be shown anywhere else. Now, but here's the key part if you go to websites. Is every listing on the website going to be a great deal? No. No. So you have to know how to quickly separate the trash from the treasure so you're not wasting time. Now, remember, I'm going to be giving you a listing of three pages of websites that list apartments for sale. So there's no shortage of listings to go through. I'm going to give you the website so you know exactly where to go to look for them. But now, let me teach you how you're going to separate the trash from the treasure in working with these websites. So how do you pick the treasure? Here's an example I pulled from a listing. This is in Memphis, Tennessee. And in this one you can see, let's back up, it's 70, on the right-hand side, it's $75,000, 16 units, 20% cap rate. So what you want to do to quickly sort through the, all these listings to find out which ones are even clicking on, the first thing you'll do is sort by cap rate. This one shows 20% cap rate. You want to sort from high to low. Put the higher cap rate stuff on top. That's more of the value add opportunity. Sort from high to low. Put the higher cap rate listings on top. Then we assess what is the price per door. Price per door. So they're asking $75,000 at 16 units. That's $4,700 per door. I can tell you right now, by looking at that low price per door, this is a turnaround situation. Matter of fact, so I would once I saw that it's $4,700 per door, I would go ahead and click on it, and I would then find out, indeed, it's a turnaround. In fact, it's a vacant property. So this is a property that I could put under contract to purchase. I could either buy it for myself using OPM and do the rehab and get a massive forced appreciation play, many, many, many six figures. But if I didn't want to buy the property myself, what else could I do with it? Wholesale it. Wholesale it to a rehabber. Let's look at a second example. Same market, still in Memphis. Again, I sorted by cap rate. This is 11.9%. That's a high cap rate. That's towards the top of the list. The price per door on this property is $175,000 divided by seven doors or $25,000 per door. I can tell by that price per door, this is a fairly stable property. So I would click on this one and I'd find out indeed it's 100% occupied and underpriced. So this is a property that I have an opportunity to put it on a contract. I could buy it for myself. I could just buy a stable operating property. But if I didn't want to buy it, what could I do with it? That's right. Wholesale it. So let me give you a case study. These two, uh, two more of my students, they found their very first deal on MLS. It's Dale Steinman. He lives up in Kansas. Anil lives in Chicago. They had no prior apartment experience. They found this 30-unit turnaround situation in Ohio on MLS. Uh, it had been owned by the same owner. It had been self-managed for many years. And the fact that it was self-managed means it was pretty much, by definition, mismanaged. had very low occupancy. They bought this 30-unit property for $250,000. And they did a turnaround on it for forced appreciation. The stabilized value was $600,000. They bought it for $250,000, again, using other people's money. It took about $95,000 of rehab that they raised from OPM. Their gross profit on this deal was two hundred and fifty.
$25,000. Again, they found it on MLS, and it was listed nowhere else, not even on LoopNet, for its appreciation. Here's another case study. This is a father-son team. Uh, Dan Batinghouse and his 18-year-old son, Dylan, they live in Indianapolis. They found this deal from a broker whose contact information they received from a website. This is their first apartment deal. They live in Indiana. They found the broker put them onto this 36-unit deal in Ohio, another state. It had fallen out of closing, but the relationship had been built by the 18-year-old. The 18-year-old was the one calling the brokers using my script, just using knowing the right words to say. And out of that relationship, they found this lead, got this deal. They flipped the contract. They made $30,000 flipping this property, and they closed it in nine business days which is current record amongst my students. So that's how you're going to find your deals. So that leads up to the question, so how are you going to fund your apartment deals using none of your own cash or credit? Well, there's many ways to do it, many different sources, but I'm going to give you the, here's the top three list. These are the top three funding sources for small apartments. Number one, seller financing. Number two, self-directed IRA investors, and number three, partners, business partners. Let's look at each of those. Seller financing. This is my absolute favorite strategy for private funding of apartment buildings. And seller financing is where I'm going to ask the owner to take back monthly payments instead of getting all their cash or getting cashed out up front. They're going to take back monthly mortgage payments, which means there's no bank qualifying. The seller is going to be the bank. And they don't ask for a credit check. They don't ask to pull your credit. Their building, their property is going to be the collateral for them doing the seller financing. And seller financing, owner financing, I want you to recognize, is very common in small apartments. When you start talking about it with a seller, they're going to already understand it. But the only secret to seller financing is this. You have to ask. You have to ask. And every one of your officers, excuse me, every one of your officers offers that you're going to be making will include seller financing options. The offers that we send out, there's three, there's three options with every offer. Two of those for seller financing, one of them is for cash. And the key point is in the offer, I show them how I show the seller how much more money they're going to make with seller financing than they will with cash. So it's, we proactively propose it in every single offer. Let me get a case study. Here's Ernie and Rowan Enriquez. They live out in San Francisco. They bought this fourplex in Vegas over in Nevada. And when they found it, the seller was asking for cash, which they're always asking for cash. Of course they're asking for cash. Ernie proposed seller financing. The seller said, okay, I'll do it. Again, the secret is to ask on seller financing. The second top source of private money for your small apartment deals can be self-directed IRAs. Let me give you an example from my own archives. 50-unit apartment building I was buying this property. Needed a $250,000 cash down payment. So I presented it to self-directed IRA investors. Now, why would I do that? Well, remember, well, first of all, I met them on my real estate club. At your real estate club, you're going to find this self-directed IRA. All the money you need for your apartment deals is in your real estate club. Because, remember, there's... $5 trillion sitting in IRA accounts today, and 97% of it is earning less than 1%. And if, they're, if a self directed IRA holder is sitting in your real estate club, that means they're interested in investing their IRA monies into real estate. The third source, funding source for your small apartments, is going to be partners, business partners. Now, when Recall these two gentlemen, Denon Williams and Terry Warren. These are actually my $6 million men. I can tell you the rest of their story. Remember, I, when I met them, they had no prior real estate experience. They'd been laid off. They were trying to buy rental property, but they had no W-2, so they were, they were unbankable. They did four deals in their first 10 months. They purchased four projects. They funded $6 million of real estate purchase in the first 10 months using none of their own cash or credit. How do you do that? They had a business partner. Their business partner put up any of the cash that was needed, and their business partner even signed for the bank mortgage if they needed to go to the bank. They enlisted business partners. Now, they had to give up some equity to 
give up one third of the equity, so they kept two thirds for themselves. How many big ticket deals could you do if you only got two thirds of it and you had to give up some of the equity? Unlimited. Unlimited. Remember, you're entrepreneurs. Find the deals, find the dollars, and match make. In all those examples, what was the key to their success in raising their private money? Well, number one, you have to know how to recognize a good deal. You have to be able to recognize what makes, a, what makes it a good deal and to explain to a private investor what makes it a good deal. And the second secret to success in raising private money is you have to know how to structure and present your deal to that private investor so they see what's in it for them. And I'll teach you, and I'll even help you get the funding, just like I did with those students. So that is a small apartment business. That's what we do on a daily basis. In my office, we have students all over the country doing it. And if you see that small apartments are the vehicle for you to create cash flow and wealth, then I think at this point you have three choices right now. Uh, choice number one, you can do nothing. And that would be a shame if you if you indeed see that small apartments are for you and to do nothing, then this will squander the opportunities. I don't think anyone's going to be doing that. The second choice you have, if you see the small apartments for you, is you can go it alone. And this is the expensive route. This is the painful route. This is where you allow the street to teach you all the ways to do it wrong and get beat up in the process. Very painful, very, very expensive. And I understand us guys out here, we never like to read the instructions, so we got to get beat up. But there's a better way. The third choice, if you, wanna get, if you see the apartments are for you, is you can get help and proper training. So I want to invite you to, to get that help and get the proper training. And in fact, I will even pay you when you close your first deal with my training and with my help. Now, there's a three-step process when it comes to working with us. Step number one is I want to train you to do this business on your own. You certainly have to understand how to do it on your own. Step two is you can then decide whether you want to do it yourself or you want us to do it for you. And then step three, you then get to decide whether you want to be building wealth or cash flow or both. But it all begins with training. No matter what you want to do, it all begins with getting trained. And that's why I want to t tell you about my small apartment school. So with your permission, let me tell you about our school. In our small apartment school, there are three components. There's a home study system, there's live training, and there's follow-up support. Okay, component number one, that home study system. This is our, it's called our Multifamily Success System 2.0. It's A to Z apartment training. It teaches everything A to Z of apartments. As a physical system, it's going to be shipped to you uh, at your doorstep. Value this, this package by itself, $1,497 home study system. Now, what you're going to be learning in the home study system is how to easily analyze apartment deals sight unseen. Where to find the best small apartment deals nationwide. How to make your offers, again, with those seller financing options. Remember, there's three options to every offer. One is for cash, two are for seller financing. We'll teach you how to make those offers. Then I'm going to teach you how to write your purchase contract with the no risk escape clauses. Now, let me explain something here. This is a question you might have. Sometimes people are asking, well, Lance, if I sign a contract on an apartment building, what if I can't find a buyer? Or what if I can't find an investor? Am I stuck with this contract? The answer is no. Because what I'll be teaching every contract that you write, there's something called a due diligence phase. That due diligence phase is 45 days where you have the right to investigate and decide if you want to move forward with the deal. If for any reason, underscore, any reason you decide you don't want to move forward with the deal, you simply give notice, you exit the contract with no penalty. Zero penalty. This is important to understand because what I want you to understand, when you sign a contract, all you're agreeing to do is to do the due diligence. And if for any reason you don't like anything that you see, including the color of the grass on Thursdays at 2 o'clock, you get out of the contract with no penalty. You have no risk going under contract. you got to give due diligence. You have your due diligence phase. 
So what else are you going to be learning? I'm going to teach you how to verify the deal through due diligence. I'm going to teach you exactly how that process works. You're also going to learn how to wholesale these apartment buildings, how to find the buyers, and how to buy with 100% financing using none of your own cash or credit. You're going to learn how to find and attract the investors and how to present your deals to private investors even when you have no prior experience. I want everyone to recognize right now, raising private money has nothing to do with your personal experience. It's all about how to structure the deal and how to present it. Remember, I've already taught you that you're going to hire a management company. You're going to use their resume to check the box on experience. You're going to use the exact, exact same formula, formula did it, did it, William, William Terry Warren used to fund a fund $6 million, million in real estate in the first 10 months, 10 months by, following by following the formula. You're also going to be learning, be learning, study how, how to handle the earnest money. money. I'm going to show you how to very easy, very easy, handling earnest money, 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 money. You're going to learn how to choose the best, best property management company. And you're going to learn how to do it all in our time, just like I did. Now, what you're going to be receiving in the home studies for now, 13 CDs, 8 DVDs, and a transcript. Now, some of us learn more visual, some are more auditory, some are more to read. No matter what your training modality is, we've covered them all. You can listen to the CDs and driving around town in your car. You can watch the DVDs on your, on your computer. This home study system covers all sizes of apartments, small, mid-size, and large. I want you to start small, but I don't want you to stay small. This home study system takes you from small to through large. It's organized along seven logical modules, how to get up and going in your business, and it comes with a system manual that has all the forms and templates that you're going to need for your business, including your direct mail templates and your scripts. And the home study also includes your software for automatically making your offers. Here's the business software you're going to be receiving in the home study tour, the home study system. Our deal evaluator software, it evaluates your deals for you and even fills in the blanks for any missing data. You say, question, how do I know I have all the data? The software is going to tell you if you're missing the data and help you fill in the blanks. And it also includes our offer generator software. Where your written offers are prepared automatically. Again, each offer has three options. One is for cash and two are for seller financing. Remember, the secret to seller financing is to always ask. You're going to be asking in every single offer you send out through the offer generator software. This is the same software used in my office to make up to 10 offers per day nationwide. Now, the offer generator software is a simple fill in the blank. You fill in the yellow areas. You push a button, literally, generate the offer, and it spits out an automatic offer. And you can see the example there. There's three options right there, two of those for seller financing, one is for cash. It does all the math automatically. It shows the seller how much more they're going to make with seller financing. It does everything. All you have to do is sign, and in fact, that's even been automated now. It spits out the offer so you can immediately email that to the seller and get the offers going out and get those seller finance deals. Also included in the home study is success training. This is module seven of the program. It's called Getting It Done. Module 7 teaches you how to start this business with limited time. Some of you might be saying right now, boy, Lance, I'd love to do it, but I just don't have the time. Well, let me revisit my situation when I got started. When I got started in this business, I was working 60 hours per week. I was working for a company where if I failed to meet my quarterly numbers, I was fired. It was an absolute pressure cooker. That forced me to get very systematic in how I ran my business. It forced me to put together systems and it forced me to put together a scorecard on how to get laser focused. And using that exact system that I developed and that I'm going to be teaching you in module seven, within three years, I retired from that job of 20 years. Thanks to small apartments, I did it all on a very minute time. I had nothing but micro time. And following the same system I'll teach you in module seven, I was out of there within three years. You're going to learn in Module 7 how to focus your actions and how to play big. You're stepping into the realm of apartments. I want you to start small, scale up to midsize and large. You're going to learn how to play big and play bigger for yourself and your family and think bigger. This training alone will enhance all aspects of your life, but it will certainly get you laser focused on your time so you can quickly get to your financial results you want. Now, the entire home study system, it'll 
be sent to you in a box. It comes in a white box. It'll arrive at your doorstep in a few days. But I know you want to get started right away. So what I'm, what I'm allowing you to do is, as soon as you place your order, we're going to email you a link to get access to the complete program digitally. And you can download the complete digital version to your PC or your tablet. You get started right now. Have the complete digital version. That's a four hundred ninety-seven dollar value for the digital version. Also, I'm gonna when I send that to you, you're gonna get access to a website and a, get a username and password. I'm also gonna give you links to these online deal making videos with students. You're gonna see actual apartment deals being analyzed, actual apartment deals being done, and working with my students. And you're gonna see me a video of me touring an apartment and what to look for when you get to the due diligence phase. That's the home study program. That's the first component of the school. Now, the home study teaches you how to do a deal. The live training, the second component of the school, teaches you how to do a lifetime of deals with marketing systems, just like a true entrepreneur. So let me tell you about the live training for three days with me, the second component of your school. And here you're gonna learn apartments while we do apartment deals at this live event. It's my small apartments boot camp. It's a three-day boot camp training. You're going to learn the automated systems which will do the work for you. And you're also going to experience those systems at the live event. While there, you're also, besides learning the business, you're going to establish your 12-month business plan working with me. So when you walk out of there, you've experienced the business and you've got your actual action plan for the next 12 months what you need to do to be successful in small apartments. Now, I'm going to be giving you two tickets for you and your spouse or partner. Those tickets are good for two years. We have events coast to coast each month. Those tickets are good for two years. Now, at the event, it's, it's experiential. This is why it's so important for you to be at the event, because you get to see actual results in advance. You get to experience it all yourself. You're going to see and experience the automated marketing systems. See how they operate. You're going to be able to experience those actual marketing systems, which do the work for you. You're going to watch me call sellers and agents live in the front of the room on open microphone. You see me there in the photo using the exact same scripts that I'm going to be teaching you on. And you're going to watch 10 offers being made nationwide to the website listings that you're going to bring into the room using the exact same offer generator software that you're receiving. We'll automate the offers. We'll be making them right there in the room straight off the website listings that you'll be bringing at the event. The three-day boot camp, two tickets to the three-day boot camp, $3,997 value. At the boot camp, you're also going to learn about our 50-50 partnering with you. But the first step is you have to get trained. You have to understand the business. You have to get trained and come to the event. Here's a testimonial from a recent boot camp. Patricia wrote this. Lance makes it simple and understandable. Now, coming to the live event is such an important part of the experiential learning that I have a shameless bribe for you. When you attend the upcoming boot camp, I'm also going to give you a tablet for free. If this is going to become your business in a box, you're going to receive your own tablet. This is where you can load your training on here, your systems, your scripts, and all your offer-making software right here on your tablet. To receive a tablet, what I'm offering is you attend an event. This is only for the next 120 days. I'm only extending this offer when you come within the next four months, the next 120 days of getting the tablet. And boot camps, we run a boot camp each month across the country. In a moment, I'll show you where to get the schedule. But month, we're running a boot camp every month. You attend one of the next upcoming four boot camps, and I'm going to give you your tablet. $350 value. I put a lot, it's really a lot more than that. We consider this is going to be your business in a box. You literally will run your business from this simple tablet using the systems I'll be teaching you and you'll be learning at the live event. The, that's your home, that's your three day live event. The third component is the follow up support. You receive 12 months of support in your business. That's t you're going to receive 12 monthly live QA and deal structuring trainings where you'll be on the phone live on a webinar each month for the next 12 months. We'll answer your questions live. We'll you'll see deals being structured, offers being structured. It could be for your deals, other people's deals. It's a live monthly web webinar of support. And you get unlimited email support over the next year, the next 12 months. Well, again, we'll answer any of your questions. 
We'll review your deals. We'll review your offers for you. Just email them in to my office. 12 months of support. Value that support package, $2,400 for that. So let's recap it. There's a home study system, which I'm physically going to ship you. It'll arrive at your doorstep in the next few days. But as soon as you place your order today, I'm going to be giving you the link so you can immediately download the material onto your PC or your tablet. You're going to be receiving two tickets to my live boot camp. It's good for the next two years. We run coast to coast. When you come in the next 120 days to the boot camp, however, I'm going to be giving you your tablet, your business in a box. You receive 12 months of follow-up support on your business to get you started in that critical first deal. You add it all up, total real value, $8,741. Your investment, $2,797. For the three components, the home study system, the live boot camp, and 12 months of support. All packaged and systematized for you. But remember I said, 80% of success is showing up. So as an event special for being on today's webinar, for showing up, you're not going to pay $2,797. When you order here on this webinar today, and want to knock $1,000 off, you're going to pay $1,797. And that's not all I'm going to do for you. I'll even let you finance it. I'll give you a payment plan. Three payments of $599. You can get started right now today for just $599. Then your second payment will be in 30 days. Your third payment will be in 60 days. To take advantage of this webinar special, go to the website shown right now or call that phone number that's being displayed on your screen. This webinar special will stay open for the next half hour. These are for the action takers. It's going to save a $1,000 and I can give you a payment plan to get you started. But that's not all. For action takers, for you true action takers who are decisive, you receive these bonuses. This is going to be for the first nine buyers who take advantage of this offer right now. What I'm going to do for you, for your first nine buyers, for your first 90 days, I'm going to do this for you. I will get your deal flow started for you, which means I will call three brokers for you using the script as you listen in. A $599 value. Get on the phone. You provide the names of the brokers. Get them all. I'll teach you how to do that. I'll get on the phone. I'll call them up on a conference call, a three-way call. You listen in, and I'm going to follow the script verbatim, the same script I'm going to be giving you in the system and teaching you. And you're going to listen to how those brokers respond. And when the broker says he has two deals he wants to send us, I'm going to give them your name and your email address, and I'm going to prime the pump for you in getting your deal flow started. That's just for the first buyers. The second thing I'm going to do, when you're one of the action takers, I'm going to review your offers and your purchase contracts over the phone with you for the next 90 days. When you get ready to make an offer, I'll review that with you. When you get ready to do a contract, I'm going to review that with you as well. I'm going to do that for you for the next 90 days if you're one of the first nine buyers taking action right now. And the third bonus for the action takers is going to be this. I'm going to give you an additional training. It's our joint venture partnering online training for scaling up your business. This teaches you everything about how to find joint venture partners for any aspect of your business and how to rapidly, rapidly scale up. As soon as you get your first critical deal done, you're going to be turning to this automatically and doing rapid scale up. It's a $1,500 training. I'm going to give that to you as well when you want the action taker bonuses. So take advantage of these bonuses. Go to the website right now or call that number shown and do it now so you're one of the first nine for the action taker bonuses. Total value of the bonus is $2,495. But that's not all. I'm going to guarantee the program. I'm going to give you our better than risk-free guarantee. It's pretty much unprecedented. Here's the way it works. You're going to sign up here now on the webinar. I'm going to allow you to test drive the entire system. So here's the way it works. You're going to receive the home study system. You're going to, it's going to arrive in a box physically in the next few days. You're going to receive it digitally immediately by email as soon as you place your order. Over the next 30 days, I want you to join the monthly live Q&A and deal structuring training, experience what that's all about. Basically, what I'm going to allow you to do is experience the next 30 days of the entire system or the last day of a boot camp, whichever sooner, and then decide if this program's for you. If you come to a boot camp in the next 30 days, you can go through the entire boot camp and wait until the last minute of the last day to then decide if this program's for you. I want you to have complete 
complete immersion. I want you to have complete due diligence of this training program. If at any point during that due diligence period, if you decide it's not for you, you simply notify my office, return the physical materials, ship the box back to us within 30 days, and you're going to receive a full 100% refund on your investment. No questions asked. But here's the crazy part. You still get to keep the digital home study materials, which you're going to have in your possession today, as soon as you place your order. You have nothing but upside with this offer. Try the program. Take it. Check it out. Experience all of it over the next 30 days or come to the entire event to the end of the boot camp. And if you decide it's not for you, return the physical materials, get your money back, and still keep the digital version of my all my business systems, all my intellectual property is yours to keep just for trying this out. I'm taking all the risk in the transaction to extend this to you because this is the confidence I have that you will see small apartments are indeed the way to go for you. But that's not all I'm going to do. I'm also going to give you my 90-day challenge where I'll pay you to close your first deal so you receive your investment back. Why am I doing this? Well, I told you I'm a best-selling book author. I'm working on my second book, and I want success stories, more success stories for my second book. I had over 40 case studies in the first book. I want your success story in the next book. So I will pay you to close an apartment deal in the next 90 days, and I'll send you a check for your investment in this program. The qualifications for the 90-day challenge, you've got to be a duplex or higher, either flip one or buy one. Simply give me a copy of the settlement statement, which shows the closing date, and a written testimonial and a photo of you, the property, and the check, and I'll send you a check for the amount you have in my apartment school. And the 90 days begins when you receive your box. So you really you got 95 days. It's the 95-day challenge. But that's not all. Besides paying you to do your first deal, I will do your marketing for you to get you into your first deal. We will market your deal to my buyer's list for your first 90 days. On your wholesale deals, we'll market it to my buyer's list. We'll post your deals on my hot deal sheet, which goes out weekly to my buyer's list. So you can, get your, you can start building your own buyer's list from my buyers and get your wholesale deals closed so you can win the 90-day challenge. We will do your marketing for you so you can win that 90-day challenge. Remember, the most critical deal that you have is that first deal. And I want you to get that first deal, and I want your testament, and I want your case study in my next book. That's why I'm doing all this for you to get you started. But that's not all I'm going to do for you. For being on today's event, I'm going to give you my 90-day challenge extension, which means when you attend a boot camp in the next 120 days, not only will you receive a tablet, but your 90-day challenge end date is extended to 90 days from your boot camp graduation date. Which means when you come to the boot camp and you graduate in the next 120 days, your 90-day challenge is going to start then. So you've got like six months or seven months to get your first deal closed with my help and receive your investment back. I will pay you to close your first deal. So that means you need to get started right now. Get started right now following the process so you can win that 90-day challenge. So let's recap the offer now. The 90-day challenge where I'll give you your investment back. I'll market your deal to my list for the next 90 days. I'll call three brokers for you, for you action takers. I'll review your agreements. I'll give you my joint venture partnering training. Total value now is $14,224. Your investment, $1,000 off $1,797. But one more thing. So 80% success is showing up. You're not going to pay $1,797. For being on the webinar, I'm going to knock another... 20% of the $300 off is $1,497, or you can do the payment plan. Go to the website right now. Take advantage of the webinar special. Place your order or call in the phone number right now. Here's some recent 90-day challenge winners. On the wholesale front, there's Delwin Marks. He flipped his first apartments on a fourplex. He made $11,000. They did it on a sevenplex. made $23,000 his first 90 days. He received his full investment back. On the buy and hold, there's Darren Dixie lives in Atlanta. He bought he bought his first apartment, 27 units in Indiana. He bought it nothing down with seller financing using the exact same system you're going to be learning in the school. He receives $3,400 a month cash flow, and he found this deal 
on LoopNet, just like I was teaching you. The third one, rehabbing and improved. Patrick Smith lives in Baltimore. He bought his first apartment. It was seven units upstairs, three units retail. He made $125,000 equity with upside because he's raising the rent. And he's only 28 years old. So that's it. It's our small apartment school. It's our webinar special. You're going to save $1,300 plus get all the uh, deal making bonuses. This is here only. You won't find this online. This is You will not find this offer online. It is only here on the webinar. I'm giving my 30 day better than risk free guarantee, my 90 day challenge. And my 90-day challenge extension, when you attend the boot camp the next 120 days, I'll reset the clock on your 90-day challenge from your graduation date. Take advantage of it all right now. Go to this website, the one shown there on your screen, or call the number. Now, I only have three people on the phones today, so if you call and get a busy signal, be sure and leave your name and number, speak very clearly, and do not leave your phone. They will call you right back so we can see if you get you in hopefully one of the action takers. Uh, the fastest way to do it, go to the website right now and uh, fill it in. You can either do the single payment plan or the multi-payment plan. Do it there. You can see the choice of event locations where the next boot camps are going to be there at the website. Uh, as soon as you um, – it's right, right there on the website. But we run these boot camps uh, each month. We rotate around the country, coast-to-coast -coast locations. We come to an area – near you. I don't care where you live, we will be coming uh, in your vicinity through one of the boot camps. But go ahead and get signed up right now. Take advantage of this webinar special. So while people are doing that, I'm going to um, first of all, take a sip of water and then we're going to be answering some questions. So if you have any questions, then send them in to me now, if you would please. Send your questions in and I'll be answering uh, your questions. Give me one second to get a sip of water. Okay. All right. So we got a number of questions here. Oh boy, a lot of good questions. So I'm going to, some of them are similar. So I'm going to, I might paraphrase some of these. Uh, here's one from Susan. Hey, Susan. Uh, Susan's question came in early. It's a, What's the best way to get started? Well, that's a great question, Susan. Um, let me answer it in two ways. First of all, start with small apartments. Start with small apartments. If, you're, if you're, you decided you want to do multifamily, which I think is the way to go, start small. We talked about the most critical deal you're going to have is your first deal. It's going to be a lot of, and you need that to get your confidence up. So I want you to start small. Within the realm of small apartments, you have a choice of either wholesaling or buying and holding or doing rehabs. All things being equal, not knowing your experience or background, I would say where most people tend to start is on wholesaling. Because um, it's quick cash. You don't, you don't raise any money. Uh, it's the fastest way to quick confidence. And it's the fastest way to learn the business is wholesaling. Find a property, put it on a contract, and find a buyer. That's why I offer the 90-day challenge. The fastest way to run the 90-day challenge uh, is it's likely flipping a property. You don't have to. You could buy a property on owner financing and close it within two weeks because there's no bank involved. What holds up the closing process in any real estate transaction is when there's bank financing involved. The last route that we ever want to go down is the bank financing. That's why I'm so bullish on the seller financing. But you know, going back to your question, what's you know best way to get started? I would say go out and flip a duplex. I don't care if you only make a hundred dollars. It's not the hundred dollars on the first deal. It's getting the first deal done because once that first deal is done, your brain will automatically say, "Hey, this stuff works, and it works for me." And that's when the light switch goes off, and you'll automatically start doing larger deals. It's interesting. Every time that I interview uh, a student, a successful student, including the three case studies I just showed you, every time I interview them, there's always the same question I ask them at the end of the interview. What's next for your business? And the unanimous answer 
after they've closed their first deal, their first small apartment deal, the unanimous answer is always this. I'm going to do bigger deals. Because of confidence, the bar has just been raised. Subconsciously, the fears have been wiped out. So, thank you for that question, Susan. Great question. All right, let's see. Um, now, in the meantime, if not yet placed your order, make sure you've gone to the website or get on the phone and uh, speak to someone in my office, take your order. If you need any special arrangements with regards to putting the fee across different credit cards, multiple credit cards, by all means, call that number shown, and they can take care of that for you. Um, you got the payment plan as well, which I'm giving you. You can get started for just $599, giving you the um, real savings on the single payment plan for here on the, on the webinar. If you call the, what that number and you get a business signal or you get a voicemail, remember what I said, leave your name and number, speak clearly, and stick by your phone so they can call you right back and get you enrolled. All right, let's go on to the next question. This question is from Bob. And Bob's question is, I have bad credit. Can I do this business? Uh, the answer to that is yes. Absolutely. It's not about your credit. And Bob, thank you for asking that question because too many people are just qualifying themselves from getting involved in real estate, let alone apartments, because you think, I don't have the credit, I don't have the cash, I don't have the financial means. It's not about your credit. I, you know, frankly, most of the, probably most of the students uh, who've had successful deals are, over the years, you know, would not want to you know, hold their credit score up and be bragging about it. That's not the point. Remember I said up front, you are a real estate entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, our job is find the deals, find the dollars, and match make. That's the whole point. Is as an entrepreneur, we use other people's resources. Not just their cash, we can use other people's credit. Let's say you did need a bank loan. Let's take the case of Denny Williams and, and uh, Terry Warren, my $6 million men. They were doing a they were buying a vacant building that was going to be uh, repurposed into a commercial mixed-use property, apartments and uh, retail. They needed a bank loan for the, re for the rehab, $2.4 million. They didn't have the cash down payment that was needed. They didn't have any W-2. No bank was going to loan them money. So they found a business partner. The business partner put up the down payment. The business partner signed for the bank loan. The whole point is, too many people are, you know, we maybe you were taught, or we, we were all were taught growing up, there's one way of doing a real estate transaction. You go to the bank, you get a loan, you buy it. That's only one way. It's not even the, you know, that's the, the bottom of the list for ways we're going to do things. You're going to use owner financing on these transactions. Half the transactions we do involve, the contracts involve owner financing. Owner financing. But you're going to use owner financing. You're going to use self freaking IRA investors to put up your down payment. Let's say you have a deal that's $200,000. It needs $20,000 down and $180,000 owner finance. Okay, where's the $20,000 down going to come from? self freaking IRA investor. You only need to find one self directed IRA investor and you're in business. When you are buying small apartment buildings, you don't need a lot of cash. There's not a lot of cash involved in these deals. You find one self-directed IRA investor, you're going you're gonna to find someone generally who's got several hundred thousand dollars in their self-directed IRA and you get you started. And all you need to get started is one. One private investor. That's how I got started. You take very good care of that one private investor. They will do repeat business with you. And they'll also start giving you referrals, bring in their friends and family as you start doing more and more business. And that's exactly how it worked for me. Let's, let's backtrack how I got started. The first property I did, I bought the fourplex. I bought it with 100% seller financing from Miss Manson in Hawaii. How did I get 100% seller financing? I asked. That's the only option I gave her, 100% seller financing. And she, the only question she said when she read my proposal was this, how soon can you close? All right, so I had 100% seller financing. That was deal number one. 
the next subsequent set of deals that I closed, they had a cash component. I found a self, a one self-directed IRA investor at my real estate club, and he funded many deals. He referred me to a second person at the real estate club who's another self-directed IRA investor, and he funded many deals. And the two of them carried me for many, many, many deals, and it grew from there. Grew it much larger and faster from there from the referrals. The whole point is back to you know Bob's question on do I need credit? Hopefully, hopefully everyone gets the point now. No. But just realize your voice, your little you have a little voice that's telling you you need this credit. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because you haven't learned these other ways. And these techniques are not new. These techniques have been around of doing real estate transactions like this for over a hundred years. This is simply not taught in school. That's the problem. This is not taught in school, and so we haven't been accustomed to none of the other techniques are available. And when you step out into the world of small apartments and you start talking to these apartment owners, they already understand about owner financing. They understand these techniques. You're not educating them. You just simply got to take that first step, act in faith, and follow a system. And I'm offering you the system. The home study system, which teaches you how to get a deal done. The live boot camp, which shows you and it teaches you and shows you and allows you to experience the actual marketing systems where the work gets done for you. It's systems and scripts. It's simply the business is simply systems and scripts. Put those systems to work for you. Get down the path like I got started. It liberated me within three years. It has done so much for my students across the country over these many years. The joy I get from teaching is seeing the, the beaming smiles and having those interviews with those students once they completed their first deal. And I get to hear what it's meant for their family. You know, I was at a live boot camp recently, and one of the students came up to me. He'd actually, he just closed his second deal from the home study. And he came up to tell me what it had meant to him. His son has autism, and they were being financially strained to be able to, to deal with their son's special needs. And he had flipped two apartment buildings. The first one he made twenty thousand dollars. The second one he made twelve thousand dollars in the span of I think about thirty or forty days apart. He was brand new to this. That thirty-two thousand dollars had completely changed what they were able to do for his autistic son. He was able to care for him in a way he was did not think was going to be possible. That's why I do this business. That's why I'm in the education business. That's why I'm giving you the challenge because I need to hold the carrot up to get you to take step out, act in faith, and try this program. I'm giving you 30 days to evaluate it for yourself. I'm giving you 90 days from the time you graduate to pay you back for your investment when you close your first deal. I'm helping to put you into your first deal. I'll call the brokers for you. I'll get your deal flow started. I'll help you with the offer. I'll help you with the contract, and I'll help market it for you to my buyer's list to get you into that critical first deal. I'm doing, laying everything in, in place for you so you can get started in this business. Long-winded answer, Bob, but thank you for the great question. So uh, we're going to take maybe one another question here, but if you have not yet taken advantage of webinar special, go to the website right now. Uh, when you go to that website, by the way, you're going to see – the, uh, everything's in writing, the guarantee's in writing, the schedule's in writing, the 90-day challenge, 90-day challenge extensions, all in writing. Print that out, put it in your file so you've got it for your records, and um, get your, you know, either do the single payment or the multi-payment. If, you if you're driving right now, listening to me over your phone, by all means, don't work your phone while you're driving, but call instead. Call the number, speak to some of my office. Uh, if you need any kind of special arrangement, you want to split it across a couple or multiple credit cards, call the office. They can accommodate that for you. Um, you'll find it's flexible, but you got to do your part now and make contact. All right, let's see. We've got a question coming in here. Let's take another question. Question from Brian. Hey, Brian. And Brian's question is, what's the best source of private money? Well, I think, oops, whoops, I already answered that one. Best source. Well, let's just, let's just revisit. Um, the best source of private money there's dozens, but I'm going to give you the top three lists. We talked about this in the webinar. Number one, seller financing. This is your top three list. 
seller financing. That's why we always propose seller financing. The secret is always ask. Uh, number two, self-directed IRA investors. You can meet your real estate club. And number three, business partners. Business partners. Those are your top three. And um, frankly, if, if, you know, you can do that. They'll take you a far, a long way. They'll take you a long way just with those three. I'm going to tell you a story on seller financing. This is about the boot camps. I do live calls. I'm talking about I do live calls at the boot camps. So you bring the listings into the room. Go to the website. Bring me the listing. And I, I teach you the script. And I get on the front of the room, open the microphone, and I start calling. And I will, and I will follow the script verbatim. verbatim. I do it word, I do it word for, word for word to make a point. Not me. Not me. It's the word. It's the words. I'm doing the, I'm doing the work. So we have, so we have so enough to do this event in Los Angeles. Los Angeles was time for the event. We can't even speak in front of the We can do it. Person, person, Lido, Lido, Ohio. Ohio. Sell him, sell him, fourplex. And I was on the phone speaking, phone speaking with him. And uh, I had to get him to get him to script. So I just started the story for doing it. Just make different points in the room. And I said, would you consider center owner finance financing? Sell the property owner finance financing. I said, oh, no, no, no. I need cash. I need cash. I need cash. I said, I understand. I understand. I understand. So we, so we made up, we I told you, we're going to make at least 10 offers at the event. We sent him an offer that afternoon. That offer had three options. One was for cash, two were for owner financing. And one of those options was for 100% owner financing. He said he would not accept owner financing. I sent out three options anyway. Let me give you the choice. If you don't like, you can always choose the cash option. Anyway, the, the offer goes out with three options. The next morning, he emailed back. Saying, I'll take the 100% financing option, owner financing. And he said it's because I didn't realize how much more money I was going to make. And that's the point. Sellers have not necessarily run the numbers to determine how much more money they're going to make. When they say, no, they won't do owner financing because they haven't run the numbers. That's why we run the numbers in the offer generator software. And that's why we put it automatically on the offer letter. Because it does, it shows them. It stops them dead in their tracks. You're making here, here's the decision you're making: either take this amount of money on owner financing, or this significantly lesser amount of money on cash. So the whole point, going back to your question, Brian, you know, the top sources, you know, you always push seller financing and self-directed IRA investors. I'm telling you, there's so much money tied up in self-directed IRA investors that's basically earning nothing right now. Let me tell you one other thing about the self-directed IRA investors. This money is kept in third-party custodial companies. If you have a self-directed IRA, you cannot hold the money yourself. It has to be kept by a third party. These third parties are called custodial companies. These custodial companies, they don't sell investment products. They don't sell stocks. They don't sell bonds. Matter of fact, they're not even allowed to make recommendations on how their clients can invest their money. All they can do is hold their money. They make money off transaction fees. But what the self-directed IRA companies do is that they educate their clients on how to invest their self-directed IRAs in various vehicles, including real estate, which is one of the main ones allowed by the IRS. So the custodial companies are creating a large group of self-directed IRA investors who are being taught how and why they should invest their IRAs in real estate. So now they're looking for deals. The second benefit the custodial companies are doing for us, they will even host mixers. They host monthly mixers, networking sessions. They invite their clients, the ones with the money, looking for real estate deals, and they invite us, the entrepreneurs, with the real estate deals, and we can go in there and present our real estate deals to those private money investors. That is shooting fish in a barrel. So the second place you're going to find private money, besides the real estate clubs for self-directed IRA investors, is going to be the IRA mixers. And in the program, I'll teach you how to find those. I'll teach you what to say, how to present the deal. But the money is there. Don't worry about it. Everybody's always concerned, where am I going to find the money? Go find the deals. you got to pull the trigger. you got to take action. you got to act in faith. All right, Brian, thank you for that question. So what we're going to do, we're going to...
going to start winding down now. Um, well, I'm, and so if you have not yet, take advantage of the webinar special. Now is your time. We, when, when the webinar winds down, the webinar special will go with it. Uh, we'll go back to, you can, you can go back to pay the normal price every day. Of course, we'll take that. But remember, I said 80% of success is showing up. I want to reward you for showing up. If you've hung in here with me for now, for this long, then you are definitely interested in apartments, and you need to be pulling the trigger. You need to get started. You need to at least take me up on the 30-day test drive. Why would you not do that? You have nothing but upside. Matter of fact, you end up getting my program for free, even if you decide it's not for you. It's a better-than-risk-free guarantee. You come out ahead, even if you decide it's not for you. I'm taking all the risk of the transaction. If you listen to me this long, and you think, this, this is what you want to do, and you're having second thoughts, catch those second thoughts because that's holding you back in all aspects of your life. Now's the time to say yes. Say yes. Take me up on the 30-day better-than-risk-free guarantee. You have nothing but upside. If you can't make this decision, this is holding you back in your entire business. How are you going to be successful in real estate if you can't make the decision as basic as this one? Because nowhere will you ever get the opportunity to do a full reversal and get your money back in a business decision. I'm making this the simplest business decision you're going to face in your business career. Because I know you're having those fears are per percolating up. What if? What if? What if? I get it. I understand it. That's why I gave you the 30-day better than risk-free guarantee. Because I want you to do it like I did when I get started. To learn to step through the fear. Act in faith and just try it out. You have nothing but upside. That's it. That's the program. That's the offer. Um, if you need special arrangements, by all means, I told you, call the number. If the phone is busy, if it goes to voicemail, leave your name and phone number. Speak very clearly, please, and stick by that phone. They'll call you right back so you can take advantage of this webinar special. All right. This offer is going to be winding down. I want to congratulate you for showing up. Congratulations for hanging in there with me through this. Uh, I look forward to um, working with you uh, for joining the program. I look forward to working with you on your broker calls. I look forward to working, meeting you at the live event. I look forward to interviewing you with your first deal. Even better, I look forward to being able to write you the check on our next 90 Day Challenge winner and feature you, featuring you in the next book. So with that, everyone, uh, I look forward to